slipshod here and in this week's episode I'm going to be looking at my GTA 5 bindings as well as the importance of adding non-Steam games to Steam. Now as you can see my bindings here have almost no difference with the standard X input controller bindings. Um, that's pretty because obviously you know they've done the legwork to get it right for controllers so you don't want to go too far away from that if you can help it and you'll see exactly why later on but um, I've got two major key, major differences anyway obviously with the left shift um, on the back right paddle and that's purely because um, obviously you could bind it to A uh, as an X input button but if you use that you have to keep on pressing it whereas the left shift is you just need to hold it in order for it to activate so that's why that's there and then the other difference is purely because I prefer having a mouse rather than a joystick mouse as well for aiming but um, obviously if you do it like that then the other options particularly left bumper in this case which when you're in a vehicle is obviously for firing the weapon um, if you have a mouse activated the left every time you press it and you're trying to fire from a vehicle uh, it will stop and then restart when you take your thumb off of the trackpad and then stop again when you put it back on so that's why the double tap binding is for the left mouse because for some reason uh, if you have the left bumper activated it also aims so using the left mouse as combined with that as on the double tap allows it to work even with mouse like uh, aiming and then I have uh, for the touch well for the click action is weapon zoom or, well there are other features that scroll up does in the game but in this case I primarily have it just for sniper zoom and that is all the options for this one and I'm just going to quickly get into uh, the other bindings I had obviously I bought this game outside Steam which is why I had to add it to Steam but before before I, I knew about the option of adding a non Steam game to Steam these are the bindings I came up with and as you can see it is a bit of a clusterfuck and obviously you get things like right mouse left mouse blah 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 but the problem is because it, in open world third, third person shooters especially uh, there's so many different options for so many different things you can do that you know you get the majority of the keys on on a keyboard are actually bound to things and some of them can't be uh, multi-bound either whereas on a controller you know they've gone through all the legwork to get things to work in whichever situation you're in which makes uh, like because obviously at the moment you don't get options for holds or taps or whatever uh, in steam that is for the controller bindings but obviously in game they have done things like that so without being able to make use of those options then you get stuff like like this I mean it, it's just ridiculous and obviously tab there works for, as a weapon wheel but it doesn't work for shooting from the car because you need the uh, left and right triggers for that and then obviously vehicle movement you know it's like Far Cry where to move the vehicle forward you know you have to push forward on the analog stick and it's just a, a joke obviously if I'd moved W over to um, uh, the right trigger which is what it would be on a regular controller then either you lose the left mouse option or you end up getting an annoying like, full pull action bind or something then you have to do hip fire exclusive and it just becomes a, a really annoying scenario and obviously when you're moving through different parts of the game without being able to, to see the, the individual um, like letters of the keys and whatnot it's very difficult to know what you're supposed to press if you haven't learned it off by heart and you can even see I've got you know keypad eight four six and five bound on the, the gyro and that's for airplane movement even because obviously it doesn't work with WASD so yeah that's just the real reason why you want to add games to Steam because the X input option is only available if you do that because it has to go through Steam's API otherwise it has no action in games it, it doesn't work otherwise so yeah i hope you enjoy the rest of the video
Got him? Looking good. I'll ditch the truck, you hold on to those. <laughs> 